Hello everyone, we are here with Chris Young, the CEO of McAfee. Chris, thank you very much for your time to be here with, with us. So I want us to understand a little bit more how McAfee see transformation and how you are transforming your own business. So we, when I think about transformation and we attack it at McAfee, the, the important thing to keep in mind is that in technology, transformation isn't necessarily just about tools and technology. It's as much, if not more, about people and about culture. And I think that's where a lot of technology companies get it wrong, is that they think transformation is a technical, a technically driven trend. But in many ways, transformation is about the people. It's about our culture. It's about what we will do differently. And then obviously, technology becomes an enabler of that transformation. So let me give you an example. One of the transformations we're undergoing right now in our business, in our industry, cybersecurity, is it's all being transformed by the cloud because as everything moves to the cloud, our sensitive information, our most valuable assets in many respects are moving to the cloud, the security model has to move with it. So therefore, McAfee's business model is transitioning to from one that was traditionally about protecting infrastructure, physical devices, now to protecting information, assets, data that are in the cloud, increasingly in the cloud, and all the innovations that are driven around that. And so that's a big part of our transformation, but so much of that is as much about our people and our culture, how we do things, as it is about the technology itself. Yeah, that, that's absolutely amazing. And, and how do you bring your people together? We did a research last year, and we, we saw that one of the biggest challenges of transforming is, is how you bring your people to transform too, because there's all the cultural aspects there on the interest. So, how do you see that? It's not easy. Uh, you have, uh, it takes all kinds of people, and, and we have people at various stages in their lives, various stages in their careers, all of whom uh, approach problems, all of whom approached you know, new elements of technology, new ways of doing their work in different ways. And so I, you know, it, it's a communication issue, so you have to do a lot of communicating, seven times, seven ways, uh, which you hear about often. Um, you have to show people the value um, I'm very much a believer is if you want anyone to transform what they do or how they do something, you have to show them the value. You have to help them understand how it benefits them. And I think only through that demonstration and, then, and any individual taking on the belief that this transformation is now something that I need to be a part of, only then do you actually start to get to the results that you're looking so, for. Yeah, that, that's wonderful. And how do you see, if you have a crystal wall, how do you see the future of technology in the cybersecurity? We see a lot of different threats, but if you can forecast, I would say 10 years ahead, 15 years ahead, what should we think about on that? So cloud is the foundation, but AI and advanced analytics is really one of the biggest areas transforming the cybersecurity industry. The usage of AI, forms of AI and advanced analytics as a way to identify what's a real threat, what's the most important threat to go after, that's really transforming our industry, both for the positive, because those of us in the industry are using those techniques to get better at what we do, but it's also working against us because our adversaries can also use the AI, machine learning, and the same to try to, to thwart our attempts to deal with them. So it's a, it's a challenge that we face, but I do think it's transformative. Yeah, and it's very, yeah. Thank you very, very much for your time, okay? Enjoy Collision and all the best, Mike. Thanks, Thank you. Carter.